Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a bullet journal video and I have not done one of these in many months. So I thought it would be fun. I kind of put out a call for questions on Instagram so I figured I would just make my weekly spread and kind of answer a few questions and just chat with you. So today I did want to show you these adorable little like printable stickers. I got all of these off of Etsy from Print Petticoat Bandit. So if you like any of the stickers that I'm using today, you can of course, um, you know, load them into your like sticker cutter machine, you know, silhouette, whatever those are called. I just print them out on sticker paper and use my good old scissors and cut them out. But uh, these are mostly the stickers I'll be using today. So yeah, these did come off of Etsy if you're interested. And then I have these awesome stickers from the book launch planner. It's a little hard to see because they're in plastic, but these are word count stickers. And I have been writing again. We're gonna talk about Whiskey City. So I hopefully will be using some word count stickers this week. And then of course I have a bajillion sticker books. So we're just going to answer some questions off of Instagram and have a good time making my uh, upcoming weekly spread in my bullet journal. So let's get started. All right, here we have it. So let me go ahead and pull up a question and we'll start chatting while I start uh, putting my boxes together. All right, so the first question comes from Janine and I think she's essentially asking, um, do I take rest days? Do I take days off? And I, I want to take rest days, I do. Um, and last weekend I got some days off, but this weekend I worked yesterday, which was Saturday, and I've been working today, Sunday as well. So no, like, full day off for me, but, um, you know, even like today was Sunday, I think I worked for about three hours on a copy edit this morning, and, uh, you know, it was all good. So I worked for three hours, I played Ghost of Tsushima earlier before that, and then uh, Greg and I just kind of hung out the rest of the day. He just went for a mountain bike ride. I actually got a new mountain bike. So I've been mountain biking, which is really cool. I'm trying that again. Um, so yeah, Greg is out doing that and I'm just hanging out here at home, making some potato soup and doing a bullet journal video. So uh, yeah, I do try to take rest days, but it doesn't always happen, especially when I have a lot of editing projects coming due. That is when I, have the most work. So when I have things due, it's really crunch time. So if I have a week where no projects are due, I get to relax a little bit more. But when things are coming due, I often have to work weekends just to make sure I'm getting everything done on time. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, let's pull up the next question. Uh, Bethany asks, when is Whiskey City coming out? I need more. That is so nice. Uh, Whiskey City. So let's chat a little bit about Whiskey City. It actually Let's see. It has actually been coming along quite well this week. I kind of sat down with Greg and I told him, you know, I'm really kind of frustrated and bummed out that I haven't been working on it. And he just said, you know, you have to do what you know, you've always kind of had to do. And that's just buckle down and choose when you want to work on it. So I have been working on Whiskey City in the mornings. It's really nice. I've been getting up a little bit earlier and I've been going out on our porch with a cup of coffee and the cats because we uh, catified our porch. So we kind of have a catio now. So the cats can go out with me because um, we're you know in an apartment now. Um, so the cats have been going outside with me in the mornings and I've just been drinking my coffee and sitting on the patio and uh, working on Whiskey City and it has been awesome. And I do hope to film um, like a writing vlog this week. That would be really cool. So I can kind of show you like what I've been doing in the mornings, but Whiskey City is coming along slowly, but you know, it is coming along. So that's something I would love to have it out this year. Gosh, if I could have it out by December, that would be freaking awesome. But realistically, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I would love to have it out in December. If it's not out in December, guys, then spring of 2021 there's Tifa, Tifa saying hello. Then spring of 2021 would be my kind of, you know, next best guess. I'm not really sure though. Um, you know, it just kind of has, it. it's kind of, you know, I'm having to play it by ear just based off of how much editing work I have. And you know, I, I am so appreciative of everyone who has asked me when Whiskey City is coming out because that to me is like really good and healthy pressure. 
and it lets me know that you enjoyed Pistol Daisy. So, you know, thank you, Bethany, for asking that. Um, and I think I actually got one other question about Whiskey City that I can check real quick. Let me finish this little box here. That was not a straight line. Oh, well. All right, so let's pull up another question. Okay, I love this one. So the Hungry Fit Mom asks, what is bullet journaling for? Is it just a fancy planner? I've always been curious, but I've never known. So the way I use bullet journaling is essentially this bullet journal controls my whole life. That's why it never leaves the house anymore. I used to take this around with me like in my bag. So I had it if I need to make like any appointments while I was out, but this thing has literally everything in it. So it's not just a daily planner. It, I mean, it is my daily planner. These are going to be, you know, Monday through Sunday and it's what I need to do every single week, but it's what I need to do, you know, my goals for the year, my goals for every single month. Um, I track all of my editing clients in here. I track my income in here. I track literally everything that needs to be tracked. Everything is in this bullet journal. So for me, it's way more than just a planner because I've thought about using like an Erin Condren planner or using, you know, a happy planner or something, but they just don't have the customization, I guess. They don't have the flexibility as a bullet journal does because a bullet journal is just literally blank pages so you can do anything in here. Something else I do in here, I track all of my book sales. I track my social media growth. I have lists of videos I wanna film. So this has everything in it. So I guess you could, I mean, depending on how people use it, you could call it just like a fancy planner. But for me, this is more of like, you know, the thing that helps me control my life and not forget anything, especially because right now, I'll tell you what, I have more going on in my life right now than I think I ever have. I mean, even when I was like going to college and working as a barn manager and, you know, doing writing lessons and everything I was doing then, I feel like I'm busier now, which is kind of funny, but you know, I love the work I'm doing, so it's all worth it. But yeah, so you could call it a fancy planner if you want to, but for me, this is like my lifeline to everything I need to kind of be successful, I feel like. Okay, next question. And now that we have my boxes, I'll go ahead and write out the days of the week. This is gonna be my like self-care box, things I have to do this week and things I have to do next week. Let's go ahead and grab another question. Um, Ashes2899 asks, which book was your favorite to write? That is a really, really good question. Um, okay, now that I have those written out, so which book was my favorite to write? I have to say my favorite book to write was probably the first draft of Pistol Daisy because that book like poured out of me. I wrote that whole book in like two weeks, I wanna say. Like it took me less than a month to write the entire first draft of Pistol Daisy because I just loved it so much. So I would definitely say that was my favorite. Um, and, you know, I really enjoyed Song of the Dryad, even though it was difficult. I have enjoyed Whiskey City, even though um, right now, you know, it's been tough just because I haven't really had much of a routine and working on it. So that makes things difficult. But I would definitely say the favorite, my favorite book that I've written, um, you know, uh, or at least the process of writing, the most fun I had writing a book was the first draft of Pistol Daisy. Okay, next question. And then we're gonna choose like a color scheme. Um, let's see, advice for new creators or YouTubers. That's a really good one. Let me sit up here. All right, we're gonna cut some stickers while I talk about my advice for new creators slash YouTubers. Um, well, definitely get stickers like this. These are content creator stickers in case you couldn't tell. They're super freaking adorable. Uh, my tips for creators. So I would say, what would I say for that? I do have a video up on my YouTube channel about, like I have a couple different things actually. I do have a video up about um, like branding for authors, like how to build your author brand, which might be a good place to start. And I also have a video up on my channel about like how to start an author tube. But I guess I would generally say, and I know a lot of people We'll probably say this, uh, but it's just to get involved in the community because I think that, you know, the biggest part of being like a creator and a YouTuber is connecting with people. That's really what it's about. You know, that's what I love about YouTube. 
you know, not only connecting with people who watch my content, but then also connecting with people whose content I enjoy watching. So I would say definitely connecting with people is good. And then um, this is actually, actually something I mentioned in my last live stream that's still up on my channel is uh, having good lighting. And who knows, maybe the lighting here is crappy today, so I might be kind of being a hypocrite, but um, I would definitely say good lighting in your videos and like photos that you're taking maybe for Instagram or whatever is really, really, really helpful. And that's something that I struggled with for a little while, but, 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 you can always use natural lighting. That's what I have going on right now. I have like natural light coming in this direction. And then because the sun is starting to go down a little bit, I have an overhead light as well, which is why you see a little bit of a shadow here. Um, but just use natural lighting whenever you can. I find that that is the most beautiful lighting to use, especially for YouTube videos, you know, just sit close to a window if possible. Uh, so yeah, I would say like, just start connecting with people. That is the most important thing. And then in terms of like an actual, that's a motorcycle outside. In terms of actually like creating the content, I would say just try to have a really nice, natural, beautiful light in your videos and in your photos because it makes everything look better always. So let me finish cutting out this little Instagram. It's like a phone Instagram sticker. And I'm, I'm putting that now on the days where um, I'm posting on Instagram. I was doing really well for a while. And now I have just kind of gotten so busy that I like forget to take pictures and stuff. I'm gonna have to vacuum when I'm done here. So there's two little stickers. I haven't done any yoga this week. Let's go ahead and cut out a yoga sticker as well. Woohoo, okay, now I have a yoga sticker. I need to do some yoga this week. What else? Let's cut out a little summer sticker because it is super freaking hot, super, super hot here recently. So let's do like a hello summer sunglasses. This yellow is cute. I'm really not a summer person very much. Um, I, I tend to be a winter and fall person. Fall is my favorite, favorite, favorite time of year. Um, I feel like I am enjoying summer a little bit more this year, maybe because I'm not really pet sitting right now. And when I used to pet sit all day, you know, I was driving around like in my old car and it was always really, really hot and uncomfortable. And I'd be out like walking dogs in the heat. And that was not comfortable for me. I don't like being out in the heat. I would much rather be out in the cold um, most of the time. Uh, but I'm enjoying summer right now. Uh, the apartment that Greg and I moved into has a beautiful pool. So we've been going down to the pool. I've been swimming. And I honestly hadn't like gone swimming in a swimming pool in so many years when we moved in here. So it's been fun to be like swimming and to take the book down and just like sit next to the pool. So I'm trying to enjoy summer a little bit more than I have in the past. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my potato soup off the stove. Woo, my potato soup is ready. So when I'm done filming the video, I'm gonna probably watch Netflix and eat potato soup. Okay, next question. Now that I have some super adorable stickers cut out. And stickers are what I really love about like Happy Planners and Erin Condren and stuff. I freaking adore stickers. I think they're so much fun. Let's see, another question about Whiskey City, if it's coming out this year or next year. Hopefully this year, but maybe spring of next year. Um, let's see, here's a really good one from, from uh, author Kay Dunn. Do you plan to live full time in the van and give up apartment living? So the van is coming along really, really well right now. Let's choose a cute color for this real quick. What color do I want to use? Maybe for this spread, I'm going to use like a mashup of different colors kind of for summer, like pale pink, maybe like a nice pale yellow and pale blue. Where's my blue? Here, here's my blue. Okay. So maybe these are some colors that we're going to use for this week. So here we go. Our plans for the van. We, so we are we just actually got, this always smears color. We're gonna go back and forth. We actually just got our, um, what's it called? We just got our foam for our mattress and we got our um, fabric as well because we chose like this nice foam because the mattress has to be so big that it has to be like custom made and custom cut. And we got this really beautiful black and gold. That's like our theme for the van is black and gold. So we got really nice um, fabric for that. And we're gonna drop that off at the upholstery place. Hopefully, 
hopefully this week, next week, I'm not really sure. We just have to see like when they have, you know, their earliest availability. So the bed is coming along and then all we really need to do, I mean, we can use it now. All we really want to do though is get the battery box in so that we, cause Greg like wired all the lights and everything. So we need the battery box in there. And then we'll also need the like kitchenette and the stove, oopsies, the water, stuff like that. But anyway, what is our plan for the van? I'm gonna write down yoga times two. So in terms of like giving up apartment living, we actually just moved into this apartment. We moved into this apartment on July 25th and we have a 14 month lease. So that'll be up, was it July 25th? No, it wasn't July 25th. It was June 25th we moved in here. Wow, July passed by like in the blink of an eye. That is the wrong sticker. Let's put this one up over here. That'd be cute. Hello, Summer. So we moved in here in June. We have a 14 month lease. We will get out of here in August of next year. And we are not really sure what the plan is in terms of full-time living. So we've kind of been discussing maybe wanting to get a house next year in 2021. But of course, you know, a lot of that has to do with the economy and housing prices next year. And if that doesn't go well, and we feel that it's not time to get a house, I think it's very possible that we would take on full-time traveling in the van, especially because I'm working full-time on editing YouTube and writing my own books. So I am 100% remote, which has been my dream for years. And I am so fortunate to be at that point now. Um, and Greg is working for Enchanted Ink Publishing as well. He's also working part-time um, for another business, a business that he has been on and off with for many, many years. So it's like a really comfortable job for him. But if we do decide at the end of our apartment lease that we're sick of apartment life and we wanna go travel, I think we could definitely make it work in the van. We're used to small spaces. We're a very tight knit little family, you know, Greg and me and the two cats, like we all get along really, really well. So I think we could certainly do that. But right now, um, we're just working really hard, trying to put money into savings, trying to build Enchanted Ink Publishing as much as we possibly can, which is going really well. Special shout out to all of my author clients out there. You guys are amazing. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure yet about that, but I could see us living full time in the van, just, you know, not until maybe August of next year, because that is when our lease is up here on the apartment. Okay. So Self-care, I am trying to focus more on self-care, especially like during the weeks that I'm really busy. So I wanna do yoga at least twice. I wanna meditate because meditating is like the best thing in the world for me, but I don't have a very good like routine of it. Um, I wanna go to the pool. Going to the pool is nice, just sitting in the sun, getting outside. Um, and of course, go mountain biking. I've gone twice and I'm really, really enjoying it this time around. If you guys were on my channel years ago, I was mountain biking back then as well, but I got an e-bike and let me tell you, I can conquer so many more trails and like rocks and like berms and stuff on an e-bike that I never could on just a regular bike because I just didn't have the strength. I just didn't have the strength. So this week I want to do yoga twice, meditate, go to the pool and go mountain biking and something else that I'm not gonna fill all of these in. I, I used to fill all these in during my videos. I'm not going to now because all of this is essentially editing for clients and that's all like personal information that I'm obviously not gonna share in a video. But what I've been doing recently in my bullet journal is I don't overdo it with things to do every single day. Literally, if I look back, you know, a few months in my bullet journal, I used to fill up this box, these, each of these boxes, literally as far as they would go, I would put like 12 things a day that I needed to achieve and 12 to 13 things a day. And then there was no way I could achieve 10 to 13 day things like big projects every single day. So what I do now is I keep it limited because when I have only a few things that I feel like I need to achieve every single week or every single day, I can achieve those things much more successfully and then I feel really good about it. You know, I love checking things off. It makes me feel great. So for this week, self-care is yoga twice, meditate, go to the pool and go mountain biking. Also read this book. I just got this book at 
the library. I'm so excited. I've already read the first two. I'm really enjoying this series. So this is like the perfect book to sit next to the pool and read. So when I go to the pool this week, this book will be beside me while I get my tan on. So yeah, that is kind of what I will be currently reading. All right, now what else do we want to put on here? What is upcoming? What is due this week that I can actually put on here and show you? Let's go ahead and put my little sticker. This is my little Instagram sticker. Whoopsies. From Print Petticoat Bandit. Super cute, super small. Anyway, we're going to take this and put it down here. I want to post on Instagram tomorrow. So that's going to go over here on Monday. Post on Instagram. Something else that I want to do is I want to record a video this week. So I'm going to print out or cut out one of these really cute little record stickers. Let's do that real fast. I'm sure it's a heck of a lot easier having like a Cricut or a Silhouette. I think that's what those are called to cut out your stickers, but you don't have to. If you just want to buy like sticker paper, which is exactly what I do, I just get sticker paper, I load it into my regular printer, and I get little stickers on Etsy every so often when I want to like reward myself with something. And then you just got to cut them out. It's really fun. All right, there's that. Super focus. There it is. Super cute. So I need to record a video this week, like an additional one on top of this. I was doing so well for the longest time posting two videos a week. And then I don't know what happened. Um, I think I just got off of that kind of habit because I had so much editing work that I was doing that I was like, you know, I, I have to take a little bit of a break. And now I'm struggling to get back to two videos a week. So I need to record a video, not including this one because it is Sunday. So film video for sure. And then I need to um, post video. So I can't really put anything else here without, you know, revealing stuff that I'm doing for my clients. So I'm not going to fill this stuff out. I want to post on Instagram there. I also want to post on Instagram on Wednesday and or Friday. So I'm going to cut out probably another one of those stickers to go with it. Oh, and in the meantime, let's go ahead and put this little cute sticker down. Isn't that adorable? Like just a little girl working on her computer. This is me all day, every day now. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to put this sticker everywhere. I love stickers. They just make my bullet journal feel so freaking cute. Let's see if we can find some other stickers that'll look cute in here as well. And also guys, let me know if you enjoy these videos. I know not, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have told me like, oh, I enjoy your bullet journal videos, but I know not everybody, not everybody is a bullet journaler. So not everybody is going to enjoy it, but I figured I did a tips video last week. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I did a video about the difference between copy editing and proofreading that is up on my channel. I will link it uh, down below, <laughs> down below that way. If you have not seen that video yet, this enjoy life sticker can go right there. That's beautiful. This little sticker is from the farmhouse happy planner sticker book. What else do we need on here just to make it nice and fancy? I do find that when I have a really like organized, cute bullet journal, I just want to work in it more and I want to keep on track. It's just really nice. Let's go ahead and grab this too, because, because coffee is literally magic. I know Ryan Medina would agree with me. <laughs> He's always posting about that on Instagram. We're going to put that on Monday for sure, because coffee is magic, especially on Mondays. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you enjoy these bullet journal videos because then I will uh, probably continue to make them just as like personal videos. Cause what I am trying to do right now on my channel, sorry if it's getting dark in here, you guys, I'm losing a little bit of light out of the window. So I'm going to wrap it up here soon. Uh, what I'm trying to do on my channel is like a tips video that'll really help you guys out hopefully. And then like a personal video, like a vlog or, you know, a Q and a or something like this. So I'm just trying to uh, balance it out a little bit. And then these stickers, these awesome, they're wonderful um, word count tracker stickers from the, the uh, book launch planner. I'm not going to put them in here right now because I don't know how many days a week I'm going to write. I would like to write Monday through Friday in the mornings, but I'm not positive that's going to happen. So I'm not going to put those in there, but I did want to show these to you because they're so freaking cute. And there's also these ones too. 
I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay. Got to put these back. And I just keep these like in their sleeve in the back of my bullet journal so they don't get folded. And they don't get lost. Let's see if there's a cute little washi that we could use that's like pale, summery feeling. This one is kind of nice. Kind of like this one here. I'm just going to assume that these are vegan ice cream cones. Vegan nice cream cones. That's what these are. We are going to put a little bit of these down. I like just having fun with my bullet journal. And again, like, you know, I had that question about like, is it just, you know, is a bullet journal really just a fancy planner? And for me, I'm going to go back to that question and also add that for me, it's, um, it's relaxation. I absolutely love working in my journal. It makes me so happy. I look forward to it every single week. And with this washi, I literally just line it up and rip it off. It's that simple. So yeah, you know, working in a bullet journal is also more than a planner. It's like an outlet for me. It's a creative outlet. It's a relaxing outlet. So that's another reason why I did it. Why, why I do it. Why I like to um, use one of these. Got a little tiny paper clip here. Is it going to focus? A little tiny paper clip. Let's put that down here. Gonna put that on Thursday. Okay, let's go back to my Instagram real quick, see if there's any like last minute questions I can answer. And then we'll wrap it up because again, like I would love to fill out everything I have to do every day, but it's all client names. So I can't be writing people's names everywhere. Uh, here's one from Scarlett and Scarlett asks, how old were you when you realized you wanted to be an author? So I would say that I always enjoyed writing, but I really kind of got into it when I was in like eighth grade, ninth grade. And I thought, oh, it would be so awesome to write books. Like that's when I really got into books, but I never took myself seriously until I was in college. I would say like my freshman, sophomore year of college, but even my sophomore year of college, um, I originally went for a science degree. I was um, going for a degree in equine science, essentially horses. Um, but I'm not a science person. I'm an animal person and I love animals, but I am not a science person. And, um, you know, I finally snapped to my senses and was like, you know, writing is my passion. Creating is my passion. I need to be an English major. So um, my second Second semester of my sophomore year of college, I decided to switch to an English degree with a concentration in creative writing. And I certainly, we're also going to edit a video here. Ooh, these stickers are so freaking cute. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So I would say that my sophomore year of college when I switched to, you know, an English degree was definitely a step in the right direction. But, but I didn't really take myself seriously as an author until I was here on YouTube and until I started connecting with you guys. And... I really think that Song of the Dryad was the big change for me because it was my first step into feeling like I was doing the absolute best work I could as a self-published author. So, you know, I, I honestly didn't take myself seriously as an author until I was out of college. So I was probably like 22, something like that. But I had always enjoyed writing. Um, but I think everybody starts at a different age. Like you don't have to be a certain, you know, you don't have to say, oh, I wanted to be, you know, an author when I was freaking one. <laughs> you know, in order to make it as an author, you can start at any age that you want to. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. This is a super simple bullet journal spread, but I just enjoyed sitting here and chatting with you guys while I kind of filled this out. So thank you so much to everybody who sent me in a question. Um, I answered as many of them as I could, and I'm sorry that there were a few I wasn't able to get to. If you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below. And I would be more than happy to sit and chat with you guys, you know, more frequently. I do this every single week. So if you enjoy videos like this, just super casual, talking about books, talking about writing, talking about my life, let me know and we can do more videos like this. But I am losing light, so I'm going to wrap it up because I told you guys earlier to have good lighting in your videos. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this bullet journal video. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're writing all the words and I will see you, you in my next video. Bye everybody.